Hi, I'm Nick hey, Garner. Bro. I have a Any website. Cool. Yeah, I was wondering if I could maybe ask you a couple of questions. Absolutely. What's your website? Uh, SportsTalkForKids.com. I have a business card here. Cool. It's just going to show the positive side as well. That's good. Hi, this is Nick Garner for Sports Talk for Kids, and I'm here with runner Josh Cox. What's it like to run 30 plus miles? It's pretty fun, man. I love this sport, and come here at Boston Marathon Expo, you get to rub shoulders with cool people like yourself doing cool shows and holding cool mics with cool cameras. And, you know, it's uh, running 30 plus miles. 31 miles is a 50K, just over 31. And, five miles beyond the marathon finish. So as bad as the marathon hurts from 20 to 26, from 26 to 31, it hurts that much more. But it's fun because I kind of like pain. Are you running tomorrow in the Boston Marathon? I'm not going to be running in the marathon. I'm going to be running around the Charles and getting in some, some training runs, but I'm going to be cheering on my buddy Ryan Hall. And uh, I have a buddy, Alistair Craig, from the Mammoth Track Club that's going to be racing as well. And a couple other friends too. So just going to be out there cheering hard and watching for a fast finish on Boylston. How do you train to run your races? A lot of miles. A lot of miles. You got to get out the door. Running is cool because like life, you get out what you put in. It's, it's hard work. It's getting out the door. It's one step at a time. And, you know, I run between 120 and 170 miles a week. So it's a lot. Some people don't drive that much. <laughs> but it's important to stay with good shoes and be around good people and really enjoy it along the way. How many pairs of shoes do you go through training for a race? <laughs> That's a good question. So my shoes are a lot like car tires. We don't go, okay, you keep a shoe for months. It's keep a shoe for about 400 miles. Shoes will last about 500 or maybe even more, but I get them for free. So I'll last maybe like 300 or 350 and I say, hook me up with some more shoes. And so my closet is just a big stockpile of free shoes from K-Swiss. It's pretty cool. How are you trying to give back to the community? You know, partnering with uh, Team World Vision and the stuff that the Steps Foundation is doing. Uh, last year I ran a race over in South Africa, the Comrades Marathon, and we raised over a million dollars for impoverished kids and communities in Ethiopia, in South Africa, and in, uh, in Kenya. And we sponsor three kids. and every month and we write letters to them, we get letters and it's uh, pictures and they become like our own children. It's really fun. Have you ever ran in the Olympics? I haven't run in the Olympics, uh, thanks for rubbing that in, but um, I have qualified for four Olympic trials. I've ran for the U.S. three times and uh, I've broken the American record in the 50K twice. When's your next race that you're planning for? Well, I was hoping that uh, me and you could race down there and see who's who's the fastest. You'd probably beat me. I don't know, dude. Come on, you look pretty quick. Eh, uh, yeah, not as quick as I look. Not not as quick. That's all right. You got a, you, you got a fast haircut here, so that's that that's half the battle. Mine's not as fast. It's kind of messy. But uh, we're looking at a half marathon maybe in uh, in June. All right. Well, thank you for your time and good luck next race. Thanks, buddy. Great uh -huh. job. Thank you. This is Nick Garner for Sports Talk for Kids. Hey, kids, let's talk sports. Yeah, great Thank job, you. dude. That Thank was you. awesome. Thank you. I do, I do uh, a lot of work with Universal Sports and uh -huh. on TV, and you're, you're gonna have my job. So <laughs> well, you're, you. you're awesome, dude. Thank you. Yeah.